Hey everybody, today I'm working on a 12 by 12 canvas and I'm going to be doing a little experiment today. Um, I've got my pearl white already mixed up here in my cup and I also have some pearl white in my bottle in case I need more. There are two different brands of pearl white. The one in the cup is actually from um, Daz Deco Art, it's Dazzling Metallics. And then the one in my bottle is Folk Art. Um, so I'm going to try to use what's in the cup first and then use the, the bottle um, if I need extra. Um, I do have this color here, it's medium yellow from the Fine Touch. I've got this color here. It is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Light Red Hue. Now I used this once before with, um, I think it was a metallic turquoise, and I really like that color. I'm not a big fan of orange normally, but I like that. And then this one is red, and it is Deep Red from Artist Loft. Okay, so I'm going to start my puddle pour, and I'm going to put the pearl white down first. And I think I'm going to go with the red next. I'm going to put this in between each color. Seems like a lot of paint for this little canvas. I probably should have used a bigger canvas, but whatever. Okay, so move this out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of these air bubbles. I don't seem to be wanting to pop. There's stubborn air bubbles there. All right, now I'm gonna just start moving everything. Yeah, I think I got too big of a, or too small of a canvas, but let's just go and see what happens. Now, I really like what's on the table. I lost all of my red. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way, and you see this? I am going to, let me see here. I'm gonna scoop some of this up and put it in my cup. I'm a little not happy with all this wasted paint. Okay, so I'm going to move this back and I'm just going to take my spatula again and I am going to just flip it on the spatula. Actually, I'll do it like this. I'm going to lift it. Oops, I didn't mean to drip that.
I'm just going to move it now a lot. Move it around. Kind of stretch it back this way. I don't want to use lose too much of my yellow. I do like some of that, but I'm going to let that go this way. There we go. I think I'll run it down a little bit. Stretch that one yellow all the way across. There we go. I do have some air bubbles there. Not a whole lot of anything else happening. But I like how this looks. <laughs> Turned out really pretty after all. Okay guys, I'll take you in for a close-up. Um, so this turned out a little bit different than I was expecting. Um, I put too much paint on this canvas for sure. So I lost all the color, as you saw, onto my table. So um, once I did that, I figured it couldn't hurt to try. So scraping the paint and putting it back on, um, I really like how it looks now. It's really pretty. And there are some cells that are trying to come through. They're just little, um, which with the way these colors blended, I don't mind no, no cells. I think it looks really good. All right, so I will be back so you can see this when it's dry. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so here's the painting all dry. I was turning it around to see which way I liked it better, and when I got to this way, I thought it reminded me of the side view of an alien. There's his eye and his nose and his tongue sticking out of his mouth, so I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm going to leave it like that. All right, well, we'll go in for a close-up, and you can see how the colors blended. There's some cool uh, details in there. And I like there's a little bit of a contrast between the shiny and the um, matte from the yellow. I mean, it's not really matte, but it's not as shiny as the pearl. So I kind of like that. It looks cool. And I don't normally use orange and yellow a lot, but I may start using it because I've had some success with both those colors. So anyway, quite happy with how it turned out. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out all my links in my description. And have a great day.